Hey, you guys, it's Dr. G here. And today I want to bring you my one of my very favorite topics because it's so important for your health. And that actually is fiber. Um, this morning, my husband came in um, into the room where I was sitting and he said, you know, I've just been reading more about fiber. And of course, we try and eat a ton of fiber. In fact, we traded out our evening glass of wine for a fiber cocktail that is water with psyllium husk and flaxseed and chia seeds quite delicious. You should try it. Um, and we also try and include a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables. And there are great reasons why you want to do this every day, because you know what? Nine out of 10 of you guys are not getting enough fiber. Um, maybe if you know me, or if you've been working with me for a while, you might be, um, the one of those one out of 10 that is getting plenty of fiber, but what is fiber? Fiber is what we consider roughage in the diet. It's, it's part, it's very, um, present in plant-based foods, you know, things like fruits and vegetables, nuts and beans. And these are things that the body cannot break down. So it adds bulk to the stool and it makes it easier to uh, go to the bathroom and have things move through you. Okay. So there's two different kinds of fiber, insoluble fiber and soluble fiber. All right. So what are these good for? Insoluble fiber does not dissolve in water. Um, and it is better for, uh, well, both of them are very important, but it is good for constipation because insoluble fiber will lead to looser stools. If you eat a lot of it and we're, we're right now, we're thinking like cauliflower, um, carrots, celery, tomatoes, vegetables, um, whole grains also has insoluble fiber like wheat bran and that sort of thing. Um, so uh, what we want to get though is a mix of insoluble fiber and soluble fiber because soluble fiber has other added benefits. It benefits your cardiovascular system and soluble fiber can be found in um, beans and nuts, uh, fruits like apples, citrus fruits, and berries, and pears. Um, the other hot trick I like is psyllium husk because it's a mix of both. Psyllium husk gives you both soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. Um, broccoli is also one of those that's 50-50, half soluble, half insoluble. And, and so what you want to do is replace those refined foods because all the white bread, pasta, all that stuff, it's got no fiber, all right? So you want to replace those with whole fruits and vegetables. If you're eating grains, whole grains are going to give you more fiber. And why? Because it helps so many things in your body. Your digestive health really depends on having fiber in your diet. And what I see is that if people are not going to the bathroom regularly, not having bowel movements regularly, they will get sick. And it's important that you really do poop every day. <laughs> um, the other thing that we know is that a diet high in fiber will reduce uh, your risk of diabetes. It will improve your the balance of sugar in your body. Um, so if you're a diabetic, fiber is so important. Um, there's research suggesting that a high fiber diet will reduce your risk of colon cancer, possibly, um, and possibly other systemic cancers like stomach, mouth, cancer of the pharynx, which is the back of the throat. Um, we also know that um, eating fiber, especially uh, things like psyllium husk, can help flush toxins out of your body, which, heck yeah, I want to do that because right now we can't even control all the toxins we're exposed to. So that's one big way that we eliminate toxins. And of course, I mentioned heart health. You know, it's it it can lower um uh, it can lower your cholesterol level, your LDL, which is what we consider um, a marker for problems with your vascular system. Okay, so um, uh, it's important for heart health. It lowers inflammation. It can help actually lower your blood pressure. I mean, there's so many things. And then comes like weight loss, right? What's when you're trying to lose weight? What's the benefit of solid of fiber. Well, it makes you feel full, right? Um, and regulating your blood sugar levels, it can actually reduce cravings. So there's so many, so many benefits to fiber. And I want to encourage you guys to maybe try a fiber cocktail. I'll tell you what my ingredients are for the fiber cocktail. I take a glass of water and I do a splash of apple cider vinegar just to give it a little something, something. And then for mine, I mean, I actually use a whole tablespoon of flaxseed, a tablespoon of psyllium husk and a tablespoon of chia. My husband's digestive system cannot handle all that. So he's using like a teaspoon of those things. It's important 
when you begin to increase your fiber that you go gradually um, because it can, can it can cause bloating if you jump on it really fast and um, also soluble fiber uh, tends to cause more toots and that makes sense so it tends to tends to give you more gas because it's you know the like beans and beans are you know you've heard the you've heard the rhyme right um so uh just important to remember that why you can balance it out with insoluble fiber and control the gas and if you move up slowly on the amount it's much more easily tolerated okay i hope that that was helpful i'm going to put my um recipe for the fiber cocktail below and i'm also going to put another recipe that i like which is a whole bunch of um uh, fiber, fiber type things in a cereal that I commonly eat for breakfast. All right, you guys have an awesome day and eat more fiber. <laughs>